This is the altimeter that I modeled last time, and I'm going to add some materials now to this. All right, so I'm going to make a new material here. I'm going to call this metal, and we're going to start doing this. And what I'm going to do this is I'm going to bring in a noise texture, and I'm going to bring in a converter color ramp, and I think I'm going to go Control T and have this go from the object to there. All right, I'm gonna connect this to here, and I'm gonna connect the color to the base color. Now just before I go on, before I forget, let's slide that all the way up for metallic, roughness down just a little bit, and we'll work on this stuff here. Okay, so I'm going to change the scale. This is gonna be very simple. 35, I'm gonna put the detail up to 16. And I'm going to put the roughness at 0 0.6. Maybe try 0 0.65. I'm going to slide this black in this a little bit if I can, just to do that. I'm going to slide this down a little bit, make it a little bit darker like that. All right, let's add some bump now to this vector bump. And I think I'll take this color ramp and we'll put that into height and take the normal and plug that in down here I will change the strength to something like 0 0.03 and that's going to give us that effect there all right so that's our metal let's add that to there all right uh, for this knob let's create a new material here let's get rid of that one new one I'm just going to call this block and we get we fully black, and then we'll reduce the roughness on this a little bit. So it's sort of a plasticky kind of material here. Come in here, and I'm going to select there, and Control Plus to expand the selection. I'm going to add a second material here. So plus new. I'm going to call this white, and we can leave it like that. I'll just drop the roughness a little bit, and we will press Assign, and that'll put it there. So we'll have that come over here to this one I can't remember if I modeled this last time or not but I'm gonna add black to this and we're gonna add a second color and it's gonna be that white uh, actually no it's not <laughs> it's gonna be a different one uh, but I'm gonna make sure I select here control plus until we get down to about there and this one I'm actually gonna add a new color and this one uh, you could do red or green or whatever one. I'll do red and I'll change this to a red color Click assign. All right, so we got that. Let's make this a little bit less rough here. Okay, just like that. And on this piece, I don't need the white, so I'm gonna get rid of that. So I got that piece. Daddy peed on your fluffy blanket. I hope not. All right, now I'm going to do the dial here. I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna come over to UV editing. With it all selected, I'm just gonna press U, unwrap, and I'm gonna get this circle like this. Okay, I'm gonna click open, and I'm going to load. I'll link to this image for you, so if you want to use that, you can. Now, I don't see anything yet here because I've gotta create the material, so I'll go back to the shading tab. And this one, I'm gonna add a new one. I'm gonna call this dial. And click on here, and I'm gonna go uh, Control T, G to drag them up and that will add a texture coordinate from the UV and an image texture and we are going to just add that dial that we just did a minute ago and we can start to see it there let's go back to UV editing and you'll notice I'll press one that it's a little bit turned so you can do it here or there I'm gonna from here I'm gonna press R to rotate and I'm gonna turn it so that the zero is right up at the top okay close enough so we have that we need to do a little bit more work on this so let's go over to the shading tab all right so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the roughness a little bit clear coat I'm gonna put 0 0.5 and that'll make it seem a little bit more plasticky but it's still white it, it looks okay it doesn't look great yet so I'm gonna do one more thing here I slide those over and right after the image map for this I'm going to press a color or bring in a color invert. I'm going to drop that in there, and there we go. So that is the altimeter, and it's done. 
And uh, sometimes what I like to do is shift A, collection instance. Take another one, bring it in, rotate in the Z, just to have them in different orientations. And so I can take a screenshot of this or something along that line. Okay, so hope uh, that was useful to you. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.